According to one saying, there are two types of people. Those who back up the data on a regular basis, and those who will start doing so sooner or later. Whether you're using your computer for business or pleasure, you must have a piece of information that you would never want to lose. 5 gigs worth of cat pictures, the client's contact information, source files for the newest project. I have all that and more, and even though I've never had a hardware malfunction in which I would have lost some of my precious data, I still make sure that all I have is safe and sound. And here's how I do that. In my workstation computer, I have a single 120x SSD hard drive, so I have to be very efficient with how I manage the space. All my media, music, pictures, TV shows and whatnot is stored on Synology DS715 NAS server with two 3TB WD RED hard drives in write one configuration. The projects I'm currently working on are stored on a hard drive in a folder which contents is automatically backed up to the NAS using Cloud Station. Now every week my secondary NAS server, a retired DS212, turns on and all the new data gets replicated using Disk Station Manager's shared folder synchronization feature. This one has two 1.5TB Samsung hard drives also in RAID 1 and it can be accessed only from the local network so in case my DS715 gets hacked and my data is either wiped out or encrypted by some ransomware, I'll still have a complete copy of my data intact. Nope, I'm not just done yet. Once a month, I connect an external 3TB Seagate hard drive and run a backup task to have a completely offline copy of my most important data. Once the data transfer is complete, I disconnect the hard drive and put it away in a safe place but ideally you would want to have two of those and store one in a safe at your home and the other one in a completely different location. Okay, now I'm done. Hope that you're well aware of how important it is to back up your data. And no, I'm not telling you to go and buy two Synology units. An external hard drive and a free backup software will be a good start. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.